They've started to do it a little bit. If you ask any CEO in China, I don't care how big or small his company is, he wants to be global. <laughs> no question. Whether they buy something or whether they just expand, they want to be global. That's, they, they don't see their territory limited to China. And I think they're smart enough to realize that if they get big in China, by definition, they'll be one of the biggest companies in the world. I mean, why, why did some of the industry leaders in the United States get to be so large? Because they happen to have grown up in the U.S., which has become, you know, has become the largest economy in the world. Well, you know, China's now on that path to becoming the largest economy. So why wouldn't it be that companies that are large in China aren't going to end up being some of the largest companies in the world? I think, you know, it's only logical that that's going to, to follow. So, no, they're all thinking that way. They're all thinking about going global. They're all doing things. Some of them are making acquisitions in the States. Some of them are, are, uh, are starting to sell their products outside China. You know, and one by one, they're improving their management. They're improving their technology. They're improving their competitive position in China, which again prepares them for the outside, you know, for the outside world. I mean, just to take the auto industry, you know, this year, China will make 10 million vehicles. To put in perspective, the U.S. market is about 16 million, but only 11 million are made here because 5 million are imported from Japan, Korea, Europe. Because of what's going on economically, most people, or a lot of people predict for the first time since 1992, the U.S. will make less than 10 million vehicles. So that means that in addition to 2008 being the Olympic year for China, this could also be the very first year when China actually produces more vehicles in the United States, which when I first happened upon that statistic, it blew my mind. I mean, it just came so fast. Of those 10 million vehicles, China's looking to export a million, too, by the way. So, and that was in 2004, that was only 78,000. So China's becoming a big export, exporter of vehicles in addition to everything else.